name is Trey. Welcome to Welcome to Change. I'm just in the middle of a rant, baby. This is just a rant video. I'm just putting it up. Does body count matter? It has to matter for women and men because every time I hear about, well, uh, what, what does it matter? What does it matter about their past? You having sex with a bunch of people has nothing to do with just them being bodies. It also has to do with you having sex with 25 human beings, 25 men, 25 women, and then thinking that doesn't mean anything. Everybody wants to live their life with no sacrifices and no consequences. It is such a dumb way to live. I'm being honest with you. It is such a dumb way to live. Everybody has a past. I'm not saying you can't get past that, but to say it doesn't matter and doesn't have consequences. If I've been in 25 car wrecks, it's gonna there's gonna be an impact on my driving record, right? They're gonna look at it and say, man, this person, every chance they get, they, every time they get in the car, they crash. If I've been arrested 25 times, they're gonna question something about me. If I have 25 demerits on my credit report they're gonna say something to me can all be forgiven can we move on do i get second chances of course but if you are having sex with 25 people and 25 men hey look it's life baby i get it it's rare that you're gonna meet somebody with zero body count i'm not saying that but to say it doesn't matter boy what other part of life does it not matter about your past, no matter who you are? You can't go get a vehicle with bad credit. You can't get a house with bad credit. You can't go to certain places to get loans with bad credit. They're going to look at your, if you make payments, if you've been evicted 25 times, you think you're getting into a, a apartment complex? You think you're getting a house? You've been arrested 25 times? You think they're going to let you work for the police department? <clears throat> I am saying, guys, if you had 25 copyright strikes, you think YouTube would ever let you back on their platform? YouTube gives you three strikes, you gone. <laughs> so everything matters. YouTube, I know about YouTube, okay? They're going to take a look at those paths. They're going to be like, um, <laughs> y'all heard about the new policy that just came out. Let's talk about it. That if you can take a little policy class now, that will allow you to get rid of those warnings on your YouTube. There is a point that if you have too many copyright strikes and you have too much of a bad pass, no matter how many trainings you take, they will never remove the warning off your channel. It matters. If you have 25 men you slept with and you're calling them bodies, <laughs> trust me, that's going to affect your relationship down the road. Because there's and the same thing with men, because I hear this excuse for men, too. It's just sex. It's just like having a handshake. It's just like men just have sex. They can have sex with it with. With any girl, big girl, fat girl, tall girl, short girl, men just had sex just to have it. Because back in the day, back in the 19, back in the 1900s, men used to have sex with all these women and have all these babies and blah, 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 blah. Excuses. I hate that men can talk about having discipline. They tell you, get in shape, get to the gym, uh, make money, be all these things, get a high status. But you can't, you can't keep your dick in your pants. You can't do that. It's discipline to everything except for when it comes to women. I just find that funny. <sighs> so, yeah, body count matters for men and women and women. Because if you treat people like they're just a masturbation sex toy and you're just having sex with anything you can like a damn animal. Then there's something wrong. And people don't see that enough today. They really make sex like the highest thing on the totem pole. They talk about, I don't want to talk about my body count. But then y'all gossip to your friends about how many people you have sex with. You talk about how big his dick was. Men will talk about how big her breast was, how tight the coochie was. And, they, and we, then they say, oh, it doesn't matter. See how you talk about these people? You talk about how big he was, talk about how big hers was. Men and women just get pushed down into this sexless I mean, they just get put into this pretty much faceless sex doll. Let's be honest with you. Tell me, tell me the difference between a sex doll and a woman. The answer would normally be that a woman is a human being. Soul has a soul spirit going on with them. But when you're just having sex with them, tell me what the difference between a sex doll is and a woman. It's based off how you treat them, right? If you're only treating them like they're sex, I don't care if you're taking them on, on a few dinner dates. Oh, I took her on, I took her to dinner. I spent two hundred fifty dollars. I need to get something. Is she a prostitute? Is that how it goes now? I got to spend five hundred dollars on a girl just to get sex, and then and then I'm gonna say I also treated her like a human being. Come on, guys. Come on.
Come on, baby. Come on. That's all I'm saying. And for the women who do the same thing to men, tell me the difference between a man and one of those little rose petals. Tell me the difference. If it's just to get penis and get money out of him, I mean, what is it? Is he a human to you anymore? All these people who date all the time and want to give dating advice and all this stuff ain't better married a day in their life. Ain't even got to the marriage part. I don't, I just don't get it. All this damn, I'm so frustrated with this, this society sometimes. And I include myself in this because I was, I was stupid too. I remember being 25. Y'all see my video up. I was just watching this video, right? Of myself back in the day. I remember being young, 25, 24, thinking, oh man, I got to get every bitch I can find. Fat as hell. And I was fat, fat. Real fat, baby. I'm fat now, but I'm fatter then. Thinking, I, I just think I can get women so it can make me look good. Instead of living my life for real purpose and real, really helping people and really trying to get my finances together to make my life better for my family, I could have been doing that at 25. But it, people, us men in our 20s, we get so caught up in having sex. We get so caught up in getting women. We get so caught up in all these dumb interviews I see on YouTube today. All these dumb... Well, uh, are you, uh, <clears throat> I see you and her have been together for a while. Uh, how about you look through her phone? Oh man, it's like, oh my God. <clears throat> how about you look through her phone and see if she's talking to another man? I don't even know if these, and I know some of these accounts are trolls. I know some of these YouTube accounts are fake. I get it. They just do it for content. But don't you think that's goofy either way? If it's true that she's talking to another man, that's disgusting. And if they're doing it for content, that's disgusting. Because what does it show? What is it? What's the what's the point? Are you just trying to show that relationships are going to blow up, that you should never trust the woman, you should never trust the man, no matter what they're cheating? That's what I hate about the, sometimes I hate about the red pill. There are some parts of it that's great, but sometimes I hate stuff about the red pill because it's like, damn, I mean, you tell me not to get married. I'm going to get all my money taken. If I do find a good woman and she makes me a sandwich and she does all this, she's probably still going to screw me over in the end for some other dude, right? And then if you're a woman, you're screwed no matter what you do. The second you pass 26, you might as well just go ahead and just give up. It's just like, what does that teach us about relationship and marriage? Right. If if you're only teaching men marriage sucks, just get with a woman and date her for the rest of your life. Don't have no intimacy. Don't have a baby. Don't build a family. Just just be on your guard all the time. Don't f falling in love with her. Just make sure you're on guard because at any second she could turn into Medusa, a head of snakes and just turn you to stone and you over. And she'll take every bit of dollar you got. And if you're a woman, you better get a young man while you're 22. But you're also listen to this. If you're if you're 22 years old and you're a young woman, you're going to get with the man. But guess what? He don't trust you. Because every man's being taught not to trust. So you're going to give it the man who already doesn't trust you. So, and with that not saying, he's probably going to be with another woman, right? He's going to have all these options. So you're lucky to even have him. He don't trust you regardless. So you're screwed no matter what. You might as well just marry him and pray to God that you can get a little bit of money out of him, that he'll buy you some things. And when it's over, it's over. You'll get kicked to the curb. He gives you nothing. There's a prenup. Life sucks. And then you'll be 40 years old. And then everybody would say, you might as well just bury yourself at that point. You're, you're pretty much dust. <laughs> it's like what does the red pill do for us I understand teaching men about the dangers of marriage I understand talking about the dangers of losing all that but dang it man can we just take a second and not always think about the worst outcome I'm not saying being dumb and not understanding that some people will be after whatever you got but first of all most of us men don't make tons of money most people don't make $100,000 a year statistically if that was true, then more people would make more than $100,000. If $100,000 a year was the average, that means there would be men making millions who would still be in the upper echelon. And guess what? Women wouldn't want a man who makes six figures if it was average. They would want men who make more. So no matter what the, what the bottom line is, what the average is, which is all based off of you know, the economy, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, dude. Most of us make average money, so it's just goofy to think, oh, man, if I marry a girl, she's going to take all my money. What, all $46,000 a year you make? Bro, You, you, what are you talking about, dog? Most of us live paycheck to paycheck. What money is she going to take? She more than likely is going to have to work, too. So what money is she going to take? No woman's... <laughs> And if you're a man of high value, yes, life is different for you. If you're making tons of money and you're important to your network and you're all these things, is a woman could woman possibly take your money? Yes. Yes. And does that mean avoid marriage altogether? 
No. It means be as smart as you can about it. But at the end of the day, marriage is not about these things. It's about being with somebody and building a family. That's what it's about. That's what marriage is about. It's about the sacrifices that we learn. But people don't treat it like that no more. It's all about sex, cheating, and just pray to God you don't get screwed over. And it's like, man, that's just a, that's just a terrible way to live. I'm sorry. That's why you see so many young men depressed. That's why you see so many young women depressed. All these young people taking their lives. All these all these people who can barely make it to 30 years old without feeling like they're dying. When people turn 30, they cry in videos now. It's just because people are just like, damn, I mean, is there any upside to this life? I, I feel it. I feel you. <laughs> I don't feel like there's no upside. You're going to pay too much. You'll never be able to afford an apartment. If you get married, you're, you're just going to get screwed regardless. They're probably going to leave you and cheat on you. So be, you'll be lucky if she can even make you a sandwich. I just like, we don't, I just, I just don't understand why we can't be positive about any damn thing. No positivity when it comes to marriage. Nothing. They, I'm telling you, I'm telling you this again. Some of these people in these communities do not want to see a family happen. If you hear anybody talk about not having a family, anybody talking about marriage like it's the worst thing on earth, anybody who makes it seem that being with someone is just the bottom, get the heck away from them. Right. If you see anybody like that, shout out to Bray Wyatt. Run. Run. That's my feeling on body count. That is my feeling on body count. Who cares about what Steve Harvey's going through? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can get screwed no matter what in marriage, but if you go, at least, at least he was happy while he was happy. That's what I'm saying, man. If he was enjoying his life with the woman, and if even if it comes to an end, at least he went into the marriage with a good heart. You know, at least he went into the marriage thinking it could work out. But, <clears throat> and if he doesn't, if it doesn't work out, people are going to make fun of you no matter what. It doesn't matter. If a woman turns on you in the end and she takes some of your money, they're going to clown you no matter what. They're going to clown you no matter what. I would rather try to go into a marriage, did the best vetting I could, did the best I could to get into the best marriage possible. And if you screw up, you screw up. You know, people turn on people all the time. I know a young man who was in my church. Uh, he had a good wife, had a good life, had great kids. She cheated on him. And then... He tried again and she cheated on him again. Was that marriage all for nothing? Just because at the very end she messed up and she gave in to sin and she gave in to evil and decided to be uh, going to infidelity. I know a young woman who was married to her man for what, 30 years, but eventually he got so addicted to porn. He got so deep into the porn life that he had to that they had they had to um, divorce. His porn ruined the marriage. Was the marriage all for not? Just because it can start off great, guys. It could be a great 20 year marriage and they all fall to pieces at the end. Because you know why? Because people are human beings. There are people that I know that had a great life, right? Maybe not a great life, but they were doing fine. Get into their 40s, they take drugs. Those people are dead now. Are you telling me every day and everything, every impact they had in people's lives up to that point was all for not? People screw up, right? People fall. People, they, they fall into the heaviest things. They can get into the 60s and be like, I guess I'm going to do drugs. And they're dead. I, I, just, I just don't kill people for making a decision to get married and be like, you know, it's all good. And then the wife cheats on them or she wants the money. And it's like, well, I mean, what are you going to do, man? What do you want Steve Harvey to do? Did he get screwed in the end? Sure. If the if all the alleged if everything that's being alleged is true, but what do you want him to do? I mean, that's the that's the, what I'm talking about when it comes to the red pill. You might as well just say, "Hey, man, be single." And if you tell men to be single, there'll be less families. And when there's less families, people get more lonely. And when people get more lonely, they start dropping off like flies. We see birth rates going down everywhere. I'm just saying, we just can't live. In such fear of every time we want to get with somebody that it's going to be the absolute worst outcome because there's just no way to know. They've been married for years. There's just no way to know. 
do we talk about Snoop Dogg and his his marriage? Snoop Dogg has been married for years. Samuel Jackson's been married for years. Chris Boussard has been married for years. Skip Bayless has been married for years. There's men that have been married for years and they haven't got these things happen to them, but we only talk about the men who get screwed. That's all we talk about. We never talk about the men who are married to their wives and they die. We don't talk about them. We only talk about the men who get married and get screwed over. You know what I'm saying? We only talk about divorces. We never talk about marriages that last. I'm just saying, just change your mindset on it a little bit. I'm not saying once again to be dumb, but just be realistic that, yeah, there's a possibility you could get divorced one day. It is a possibility that your wife could cheat. There's a possibility. And most, like I said, most of us don't make enough money to care about prenups. But let's just say she cheats. Let's say you cheat. Damn, who knows? Everybody makes them save themselves out to be a saint. What if I end up cheating on my wife? I don't know. I would pray to God I don't. But I pray to God she didn't. She wouldn't tell me to my face right now, babe, I'll cheat on you today. But if she cheats on me 20 years from now, do I think she meant it today? If I cheat on my wife 20 years from now, do you think I'm being sincere when I say I would never cheat on my wife? I don't know. I would hope I wouldn't. I don't see any reason I would. But I would see no reason anybody would cheat on anybody. But it happens. That young man I told you that got cheated on, none of us saw that coming. None of us saw that coming. Just like that woman who got divorced after that man fell into porn addiction. Nobody saw that coming. He fell and he could not pull himself back out. And it it, it destroyed that man. I, I, just, I just don't see the point of living in such a pessimistic world. That's just my thoughts. What do you mean? Is this me or a video? Guys, come on, man. Can y'all not see when it says live? I don't ever understand that. Can y'all never see when it says live? I'm just asking an honest question. Anyway, that's my rant, guys. I'm out.